The 2024 Honda Accord won't be the first generation of the venerable midsize sedan to do an impression of a luxury car, but it might just be the first Accord that truly looks the part. Freshly unveiled with an elegant new design, the 11th generation model looks sharper, more modern, and better proportioned than anything else in its class. While we're sad that the powerful turbocharged 2.0-liter upgrade engine is gone, Honda assures us that the hybrid drivetrain is much improved, and the base 1.5-liter engine carries over with tweaks to improve refinements and fuel economy. Hi, welcome to Cars Nova. Before continuing to the video, please subscribe and enjoy the video. The lineup is reconfigured to emphasize the hybrid model, as Honda is aiming for the gas electric Accord to make up 50% of sales. The non hybrid LX and X trims come with a revised turbocharged 1.5 liter inline four and continuously variable automatic transmission. Horsepower and torque are the same 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet as before. The manual transmission won't make a return, as Honda dropped it from the previous generation Accord midway through its run due to low demand. The 2024 Accord's other four trims Sport, XL, Sportel, and Touring are hybrid only and come with an updated version of the two-motor drivetrain from the previous Accord Hybrid. As in the new CRV Hybrid, the two electric motors are now arranged side by side, and the Atkinson Cycle 2.0 liter inline four gas engine gains direct fuel injection. Combined power output is 204 horsepower and 247 pound feet of torque, and Honda claims it will feel more responsive than the previous system. EPA fuel economy ratings aren't available yet, but it should pick up a few extra compared with the current Accord Hybrid's 48 miles per gallon combined rating. Although the new Accord is 2.8 inches longer than before, its wheelbase is unchanged and it will likely ride and handle much like the outgoing model did. That's fine by us, as we love the current Accord's refined on-road demeanor, but Honda does say that it has increased chassis rigidity, retuned the suspension, and widened the front track by 0.6 inch. All Accords feature normal and econ drive modes, while the hybrids also offer a sport mode and an individual mode that will allow drivers to customize different vehicle settings. While the clean new exterior styling steals the show, the interior looks better than before, too. As in the cabins of the new Civic and CRV, the Accord has piano black trim and a mesh cover for the air vents, which spans the width of the dashboard. A 7.0-inch touchscreen with volume and tuning knobs comes standard in the non-hybrid trims, and a considerably larger 12.3-inch screen also with a volume knob is offered in the hybrid models. Wireless smartphone mirroring is offered only with the bigger screen, but a 10.2-inch digital gauge cluster is standard across the board. There's a bit of extra rear legroom, and cargo space is unchanged at 17 cubic feet. A full complement of driver assistance features will come standard on every trim level, but many of the nicer features, such as leather upholstery, are reserved only for the hybrids. The Touring is the fully loaded trim, coming with features such as a head-up display, cooled front seats, heated rear seats, a wireless smartphone charging pad, and an array of Google apps built into the infotainment system. We're expecting a slight price increase for the new Accord, but we won't know the details until closer to the car's on sale date in early 2024. Look for the LX to start at around $28,000 and the Sport Hybrid at around $33,000, with the loaded touring pushing $40,000. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you 